Well, I guess the jig is up. Today, you get official images, not renders or drawings or anything like that. Official marketing images of Google's upcoming Pixel Watch. Want tech news and exclusive leaks in a way that doesn't suck? Hit the subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss the next episode. <laughs> Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Front Page Tech, FPT. Of course, the show that gives you all it is tech news from one geek that is me to another that is you. So last time I showed images of something, it happened to be the Galaxy S22 Ultra, and Samsung wants to take me to court over that. So uh, new policy on Front Page Tech, I've decided that every time I leak something in an episode, I'm going to do it holding this, because if you, re if you really want to take me to court... Well, then you got to use this as official evidence. You got to show your lawyers. You got to show the judge. You got to play this in court. You really want to take Dildo Guy to court? Let's do this. Big news over the last couple days. Don't know if you've heard, but according to a brand new and exclusive report from Business Insider, Google is working on their own smartwatch to rival the Apple Watch. Well, first time I'm hearing this, the report states that the watch is internally codenamed Rohan. It will be round and bezel-less. It's also said to have proprietary watch bands and launch could happen sometime in early 2022. Here, let's read this quote from Business Insider. The watch has sometimes been referred to internally as the Pixel Watch or Android watch, but executives have used a variety of names to refer to the project, and it is unclear what branding Google will land on if and when it launches the device. The existence of a smartwatch codenamed Rohan was previously reported by YouTuber John Prosser. Oh wait, what? Previously reported by YouTuber John Prosser? That's me! I'm YouTuber John Prosser! When did I say this? Oh, was it eight months ago? You know, around the same time that I showed off Pixel 6? That's, that's weird. You mean, <laughs> I have already reported this exact information here on this very show eight months ago, and I showed you exactly what it's gonna look like? Mention the same stuff, you know, how it's codenamed Rohan, that it's round and bezel-less, has proprietary bands, Oh, and I think I mentioned that it's coming in Q1 of 2022 also. Wow, that's a lot of stuff and from a long time ago. But if you didn't know any better, if you don't watch this show, uh, just a couple days ago, I think this came out on Thursday, everyone was pretending that this was new information. Uh, so that's fun. Okay, we'll talk more about it after the sponsor part. <laughs> WeVPN Cyber Monday sale is almost over. It might not be Cyber Monday anymore, but you can still take advantage of WeVPN Cyber Monday deal, getting 77% off plus three months free until Sunday night. You've only got hours left to get the industry-leading VPN for streaming, supporting over 400 streaming services. You can secure up to 10 devices at the same time with support for desktop and mobile devices, smart TVs, gaming consoles, browsers, and more. So hop on this deal before it's over and try it for yourself. Link down in the description below. Okay, welcome back. Yeah, so uh, all this information is being like brought up again because when I had first reported, there are there are news outlets that are kind to me and do a good job reporting stuff fairly, but there's a lot of there's a lot of outlets that don't say a single word. And then when Biz Business Insider says the same thing that I said eight months later, it's news, and we all pretend like it's our first time hearing the information. Like this from The Verge. They actually put out a report on the same day, like right after Business Insider's report, corroborating the story from Business Insider. Uh, but conveniently, no mention from no mention to me. But, you know, glad they backed up the story from Business Insider. That's, that's great. I mean, they could have written this story eight months ago and let all the readers know, but nope. We waited till now. They also tweeted calling Business Insider's report a nice scoop. Question, question for you, The Verge. Uh, how many months behind is still considered a nice scoop? Would you say eight months behind? Just throwing out a random number. Listen, this is why it's good to just go ahead and subscribe to this channel because if you watch this show, then you would have already known about this. You would have already known about the Pixel Watch and every detail that was just in the news a couple days ago. You would have known about it 
eight months ago. Imagine you only ever get your news from The Verge. There's a lot of people out there that just every day they check The Verge, they don't look at any other news sources. Imagine if that's what you do. You had no idea about any of this, and you think that this is new information. So shout out to all the news organizations that cover the information we share uh, fairly. For real though, I get it. There are various reasons why news outlets don't quite like mentioning us. Can't think of any reasons in particular. So instead of fighting back and forth and complaining to these other news outlets, just, just who cares? Don't even worry about it. If you want the information earlier than most people, just subscribe to this channel. It's free. We'll give you the information no matter who writes about it. It's fine. Uh, so let's go run through it, I guess. Let's run through all of this new information. Business Insider says that it's round and bezel-less. That is true. We shared the design, you know, back then, and it has not changed. That was the final design then, final design now. Uh, nothing has changed. As far as a uh, timeline, it was supposed to come out with the Pixel 6, but due to the chip shortage issues, uh, it got pushed back. I have mentioned that before on this show months ago. I've also mentioned it on Twitter. Launch is now, at least as far as I have heard, Q1 of 2022. Now, uh, about the the about the branding, their report says that the branding hasn't been decided. That internally, it's referred to as Pixel Watch or Android Watch. But uh, as far as I know, yeah, it, it's it is decided. Just like when I mentioned that the Pixel 6 XL was actually going to be called the Pixel 6 Pro. This year, people didn't really seem to believe that too much, which is fine, that's understandable. Uh, the Pixel Watch is in fact called the Google Pixel Watch. And don't worry, I have proof. Uh, I'm about to show you, uh, the, the leak is about to happen. I'm about to show you images, that's why this is out. Since some more information is out and it's been a while, I figured it would be an okay time to show you the real official images of the Google Pixel Watch. These are real marketing images of the device, straight from sources within Google, you know, in typical leaked image quality. Looks like it was sent from a calculator, but I mean, you know how it works. We got to protect people. For high quality stuff, again, eight months ago, we gave you high quality renders of this watch. So if you really want to see like detailed things, detailed images, renders of that, we gave them to you already. If you've seen those renders, then you've seen the watch. But what I'm showing you right here, not renders, not nothing. This has nothing to do with us. We did not make these. These are official images, marketing images from Google. I would expect we see them on the website somewhere when it launches. Maybe you see something similar at an event when they announce the watch. Either way, marketing images, the real deal. And as you can see, the marketing images themselves refer to the device as the Pixel Watch. I know we've had reports recently uh, about the Google Pixel Fold device being canceled, which by the way, uh, to my knowledge, is not actually canceled but either way. This is not one of those things. The Pixel Watch isn't in danger of being canceled and it's getting closer and closer to an official launch. And I guess the cool thing about these is like you get a better idea of what the software is gonna be like, uh, what Google is going to be focusing on for this watch, like what they think is special about it. This is like Pixel Watch, but in their words. And I mean, if this is their Apple Watch competitor, I d let's be honest, it kind of looks great. And yeah, even though I'm showing you the official images here, it's not like, it's not something that you haven't seen before. Like, especially if you've been subscribed to this channel, we done been knowing what it's going to look like. But hey, if Business Insider can get away with it, so can I. Boy.